<laughs> hey, what is going on, crypto people? Happy Tuesday to each and every one of you. Holy moly, what's going on with the market right now? What's going on with the market? Oh, smokes. Now, we called it. We called it. We turned you guys on to I got high altitude investing. And we turned you on to, in case you don't know, the preeminent, that one, the XRP TA guy, blockchain back. They both said the same thing. And it looks like it's happening. It was the selling of the top. It was the selling of resistance. The selling of resistance. It looks like that's taking place. We were just at 71,000. Now we're at 66. Look like, it looks like they both were correct. It happened. Shout out to Blockchain Back. I hope you're doing well, bro. So listen, we've got some stuff going on. Ripple and, uh, you know, the, uh, the official announcement of Standard Charter Custody, you know, Standard Custody. Um, acquiring them. We got some news of this grant fund thing that Ripple does is doing for does is doing for Japan Korea region. He got an XRPL dev. Not excited about it. I questioned him uh, on his um, you know contention, his uh, disapproval, his lack of excitement over this billion and X, uh, one billion XRP. I wonder if he has a good point. We'll go. We'll we'll go over it. We'll go over it. I did. I did. Uh, I responded to his thing there, his little post on X. We'll go over it and see, because it kind of doesn't. You know, when I when I read what he said, it kind of like, don't all the ecosystems do that? Are the ecosystems that do something different? We'll cover his post, but he's not happy about a billion XRP going in grants and funds for startups in Japan and Korea. An XRPL dev. This stuff is. Supposed to grow and help to grow, look to grow, hope to grow the XRPL ecosystem. Yet he's not happy. Interesting stuff. Well, anyway, we'll get into it. Listen, guys, this is your XRP Ripple Daily News. And around zero to 10 minutes, let's get into it. Look, according to CoinGecko, the total cryptocurrency market cap is 2.54 trillion. It's down 5.5% in 24 hours. Bitcoin dominance is still over 51%. Just feeling like the DCA and the BC and the BTC <laughs> is a thing. Really feeling that way. Bitcoin is, uh, by the way, that's dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. Bitcoin is trading at $66,509 again. On a 30 day, it's still up 8%. Ethereum is trading at $3,453 again. And on the 30 day, it's up 17.8%. Solana is trading at $147 again. Again. And on the 30 day, it's up 1.7%. You need some help? 1.7%. And XRP, the beloved, is trading at 47 cents. <laughs> and it's down 5.7% on the 30 day. So uh, look, I got to go help Miss Crypto Siege here for a second. So hold on. Let me do this. Let me do. Uh, this and see if I can't pause this thing. Uh, wait a second, hold on a second. Live, 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 live. Oh, there it is. All right, sorry about that. I am back now. I am back. Let me continue on here with the market. So the numbers are doing what they are, right? So XRP again is 47 cents. And on the seven day, on the 30 day, it's down 5.7%. On the seven day, it's down 10%. So for me, on the seven day, when we start seeing some 25, 30, 35%, look to purchase some stuff there. Not financial advice. That's kind of what we do in the crypto seats home. So there it is. The market is doing what it does, fam. It's just doing what it does sideways. It's ranging. It is what it is. So uh, Andrews L. put this out. I think this is important to note. Today, Ripple announced the acquisition of standard custody. It's now finalized. It's done. It's over. Importantly, it also brings a certain license. Standard custody has been granted charter status by the New York State Department of Financial Services, permitting the company to offer custodial and escrow services for clients. Another critical piece of infrastructure in place for Ripple's institutional clients. 
it will be fundamental to Ripple's stablecoin business where customers will be able to hold stablecoins securely along with crypto assets. Don't forget who are on the board of Standard Custody. Big moves. And this Tim Keeney guy, we've heard, we heard it said time and time again, this dude is the retired vice chairman of BNY Mellon. He took a board spot, Standard Custody, right? Retired vice chairman. Uh, so uh, Ripple put that, out this announcement. It was done. Jack McDonald said, very excited to share that as part of the deal closed, I am joining Ripple as the senior VP of Stablecoins to lead the team bringing Ripple's Stablecoin to market later this year. Though remaining CEO of Standard Custody as well. Uh-huh. He's got a little dual role here now at Ripple. He's going to remain the CEO of Standard Custody. I didn't notice that before, but he's also going to be now the senior VP of Stablecoins. I think that's massively, massively smart. Brad Garlinghouse says here, two major acquisitions in one year under Ripple's belt with medical and Standard Custody. And a big welcome to Jack McDonald. Jack is no stranger to the XRPL ecosystem. And to me, says Brad Garlinghouse, thrilled to have him join the team, Ripple, leading our stablecoin initiative. So, you know, some good stuff. Uh, I think that's awesome. I think Jack is um, uh, one of those dudes in a term when it comes to uh, being a CEO. And I think he has the massive connections as well. So that'd be great. There's the official announcement from Ripple, paving a compliant path forward. Ripple closes standard custody acquisition and appoints Jack McDonald as senior vice president of stablecoins. Big news, I think. I think it's really, really big news. Now, I just want to share this here on a little bit of a side note. Um, Jay from Spendabits said this, founder and CEO of Spendabits. Hello, XRPL and Flare ecosystem devs. I have published an EVM based smart contract persona to create, review, and update EVM smart contracts. And he said you need somebody to go in there and take a look at it, right? So let's just say here, I will be creating a hooks smart contract persona. Just need one of the XRPL devs to understand. So that, that is... Spend a bit, dude. I shared with you guys the other day the stuff they got going on. It's pretty massive. Now, on the Flare Network's kind of note here, uh, Enosis, which is like the first thing to kind of hop on um, Flare Networks, it says the DEX V3 is now available for public test testing on Flare Network's constant test network. Grab your CFL CFLR and join us in learning about the latest steps forward in the, e in the Enos Enosis DeFi ecosystem. Now, I shared this. The C stands for constant FLR. It's test, 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 test only. It's test stuff. So um, Bannock here, who is um, the CEO of Enosis, put this out. We spent months designing and working, working tirelessly on the new version of the DEX. You can now enjoy multiple incentive pools by simply providing liquidity within the active range. And I'm hoping that this means um, concentrated liquidity ranges. So we'll see if it is that. Uh, that's what I do. Our incentive system is groundbreaking. Once again, congratulations to the team. Extremely proud. So I'm going to take a look at that when I get some time and see if that is that if that's going to be looking like concentrated liquidity pools. So here's the kind of the big boo ha ha, woo ha ha, you know, what's going on right now uh, with the XRPL dev not being happy about this. So it's interesting. Um, so Ripple X put this out. We're proud to launch the XRPL Japan and Korea Fund to boost innovation and utility on the XRPL in the APAC region, specifically Japan and Korea. They say this includes corporate partnerships, developer grants, startup investments, and community growth, right? So everyone's looking at this, kind of excited, you know, here's the deal here. Right? Ripple, the leader in enterprise blockchain and crypto solutions today, announced the launch of the XRPL Jam, uh, Japan and Korea Fund dedicated to supporting innovation on the XRPL. 
and the dynamic Japanese and Korean markets. The XRP Japan and Korea Fund will provide support for a range of robust initiatives to foster innovation on the XRPL ledger in both countries, including corporate partnerships, uh, collaborate with leading companies in Japan and Korea to integrate the use of the XRPL and explore enterprise use cases across a range of industries. Developer grants provide funding along with technical and business support to promising projects being developed. Startup investments identify and invest in early stage companies leveraging the XRP ledger to build new and exciting use cases. Community growth, support for local events, hackathons, and educational programs, right? And again, I say don't sleep on Moy Finance. I would not sleep on them. Uh, now they're going to be getting help in a big time way, in my humble opinion. What's it look like to me? This is just one example, Moy Finance. I wouldn't sleep on them. So the XRPL Japan and Korea Fund is part of Ripple's $1 billion XRP commitment. So this is thing that's going to be done in XRP. They're going to be giving XRP, a, you know, it's part of a billion XRP commitment <clears throat> to provide financial, technical, and business support for developers building on the XRPL ledger. So it's very interesting and fascinating that a, a, an XRPL dev is not happy about this. So through both the XRPL grants and XRPL accelerator programs, XRPL grants and the XRPL accelerator programs, a significant portion of the 1 billion XRP will be targeted towards exciting opportunities, specifically in Japan and Korea, amounting to tens of millions of dollars over time. This is a quote from someone here at Ripple. The launch of this fund is a testament to Ripple's strong belief in the potential of Japan and Korea as pivotal regional hubs for blockchain innovation, said Emi Yoshikawa, Vice President of Strategic Initiatives at Ripple. It also underscores our unwavering commitment to fostering innovation in the local XRP ledger communities. And we look forward to seeing the tr transformative impact of this fund in these vibrant markets. Uh, Japan and Korea are already home to some of the most vibrant and rapidly growing XRP ledger communities. Awesome. And a, num and a growing number of innovative stars in the blockchain industry. Yeah. Cool. Announcing in May of 2024, Wave 7 of the XRPL grants program saw Japan and Korea-based projects, VWBL in Japan, and Moi Finance. There it is in Korea, being awarded funding to continue building and scaling on the XRPL. Okay. Now he talks a little bit about the VWBL with Japan. The viewable protocol focuses on utilizing NFTs to encapsulate encrypted data to authenticate real world scenarios such as medical exams. Okay. And of course, Moi Finance. Moi Finance, my uh, my sleeper project, is developing a multi-chain decentralized exchange, a multi-chain DEX, and cross-chain DEX aggregator, aggregator <laughs> to improve asset liquidity utility within the XRPL community. So, I you know, seems great, right? Seems great. And then we get this from on Ledger. It's it's I don't know. It's just kind of it's interesting. That's one billion. So Rap Economy was kind of you know kind of trying to work through this as well because he kind of posted the uh, the thing here. And um, Rap Economy says this one billion presumably presumably is from Ripple's war chest, not escrow with a question mark. The article mentions Moy Finance and VWL, hash key DX as prior examples. On Ledger.net says on Ledger at Zahao Ledger. So maybe they he was one of those that moved over to Zahao, you know, you know, leaving the XRPL uh, ecosystem, if you will, if you will, um, not happy, right? 
This is what he says. He says that's 1 billion new XRP to be sold into the market. It's the only way those getting the funding are able to realize any value from it. So he's saying that they're going to get the they're going to get XRP and that these communities, these projects, these whatever, they got to have to sell the XRP. And selling into an already illiquid market is not the news that I believe is good for the XRPL ecosystems. He says, free lunches do nothing to add value. And Rath the Economist like, man, don't take the fun out of fund. So um, I just thought that was interesting. And so I responded. Because he says here, um, after Graph Economy make that comment, he says, it would be different if Ripple were to buy that 1 billion XRP from the markets to distribute as a fund. Giving away something that costs them nothing, that has no book value, is simply a selective airdrop causing further dilution in an already saturated market. So. I don't know. So in already saturated. So is it illiquid? Is illiquid the same as saturated? So anyway, we need money, not more XRP. We need dollars, not more XRP. So he's saying that this thing should be in the form of dollars, <laughs> not XRP. Because if we get XRP, we got to sell those dollars, sell that into dollars. So, and I, I just said, I don't know if he was, he's going to respond. I said, I'm genuinely curious. I'm genuinely curious. Don't other ecos like Arbitrum and Avalanche and Solana, Solana just recently announced um, a thing, a grant thing, use their tokens for granting, for funding grants, incentive programs, et cetera. Are they not giving away something that costs them nothing? So I'm just curious about that. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I, I just feel like, like that's just a small, like that's just a, uh, Like it's a nitpick. It's a, such a small thing. The, the the you know the grant thing is a great thing. We need more people building, more projects and stuff coming to coming kind of coming around. I just I'm not sure if projects sell. Like I'm I'm not sure if projects go out into the market. I I don't think I don't think Arbitrum went out into the market and bought more Arbitrum. <laughs> I don't think I'm. Fairly certain they just took it from the treasury. It's no different than escrow, except for they have more immediate access to it, I would imagine, than in, in an escrow. I would imagine that's what Solana did. I didn't hear any word to Solana. I think that Solana would have said, or Arbitrum would have said, that they, to fund their things, they went out and bought more tokens. You never hear that. Guess what you also never hear? You never hear, and I'm in the um, in those ecosystems, especially in the Solana, in the Avalanche ecosystem. I never hear those people there saying they got something for nothing. What we need, we need the dollar. We don't need the, the tokens. I, I never, I never hear that. So anyway, hopefully he'll respond. Just feel like it's just, it's you know, I'm trying to you know make sense of it, but it feels like it's just, I don't know, more kind of whining. Than anything, we need we need we need dollars. He said, not XRP. So I, you know, you can't please everyone all the time. I guess that's the that's the moral of the story, right? I guess that's the moral of the story. All right, fam. So there it is. This wraps up the XRP Ripple Daily News in around zero to ten minutes. I hope that it has been of value to you. If it has, do me a favor and hit that like button. It's one of the greatest ways you can support the channel. And if you happen to be in that. About 45, 48% of people who are watching and who have not subscribed to the channel. If you've been enjoying those hangouts, please consider subscribing to the channel. We like to bring that 50% down to like 25%, and you can do your part. So if you're interested in um, ringing a notification bell, that would be super, super cool as well, because this way you'll know whenever we go live or 
whenever we upload a video. I'm going to end this one like I do all my videos and remind you guys of this. That old money doesn't want you to win. But that's okay, though. Because you and I, we're already winning. And I would ask you to consider this. Perhaps ponder the idea or notion of living your life permissionless. I'll talk to you guys soon. See you.